Guys, when you have an incubator, right, you have to know how to control the temperature um, alone by yourself, okay? And with me, I've had quite a success with these incubators. And as you guys, as you guys can see, man, when, when, every time when I use my incubator, right, I always supervise them, okay? I always supervise them, and then I know what the temperature and humidity is for these uh, for these little guys. So, guys, to really know if you're doing it right, okay? So these guys are around like six, uh, I think seven days now, seven days. So literally, my temperature, I keep it around like near 80 degrees now. And uh, it doesn't have to be 85 to 90 degrees no more for the first week. So I drop back, I drop it down to 80 degrees because these guys, they can actually hold their own uh, body heat now pretty good. And in the third week, uh, I even drop it even lower. And then after that, uh, I'm not going to use it no more. So pretty much and then that's where I'm going to use it for Bama's kids too. So yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. If you guys really want to know, seriously, if you want to know how good they are doing in this temperature, They'll tell you. They'll tell you what's up. They'll they'll move around places and try to get to the heat, or they'll move away from the heat. And as you guys, this corner right here where the vents at, this is the hottest part of the incubator, and I've realized that since uh, I've been using this incubator. And uh, yeah, they disperse away. So when they're like uh, cold, they'll actually go to that corner over there. And uh, my my other little guys over there. And uh, yeah, I separated this so they don't suck on each other. But yeah. When it's when it's cold, they all go to that corner over there. But then when it's all like too hot, when it's too hot, they actually go the opposite way. So guys, puppies are really smart. And I can show you in this video too. Uh, puppies are really smart, man. And uh, yeah, Blue Fawn is actually trying to jump out of the, the the shoe box, trying to be on the other side, be on the corner, the hot corner, because he was a little too cold. He was whining, man. And uh, yeah, guys, puppies are really smart. And when it comes to using incubators, you have to be smart when using it. And uh, it's just the same thing when using heat pads and uh, using heat lamps and stuff like that. You have to do it in a controlled environment because right now it, it's kind of you know I live in North Carolina, so the weather the the weather changes all the time. Literally, when it's literally when it's nighttime, I I put I crank that shit up back to like eighty. 85 degrees now since it's the second week now i crank that shit up to like 85 86 maybe 87 but then during the daytime like this right now um and, and it gets quite hot sometimes i might even turn this thing on and then uh crank this thing down to actually 80 degrees so it all depends and you have to feel it for yourself too puppies actually guys puppies will tell you i'm serious puppies will tell you how they are feeling and look at these guys they're just chilling See, now it's it's a low, they want the hot spot now, see? And I just have to tell, like, okay, so since it's fine, I just have to leave it at that, because this is at a perfect time. And he's sleeping, he's sleeping, the other one's sleeping. Um, and then she's trying to find a spot, and see, now that she's crying, you have to inspect them. And, like, see how they're doing. And, uh, yeah, I, and trust me, guys, you'll have a successful, to know, like, they're doing it, to know if you're doing it right, the temperatures are right, just watch them. After after they're done feeding, 90% of the time, guys, they'll stay they'll within the first two minutes of after feeding, they'll knock out literally. And if they knock out, uh, they're fine. They're they're comfortable. The temperature's all good, and then they're just sleeping. 90% of the time, they're sleeping and eating. That's pretty much it. Because the if they're if they're cold, like after I'm done feeding them too anyway, and they're in their cold or they're too cold or and stuff like that, they'll actually whine, and Guys, puppies, they don't cry just because they want food. They cry because they're, they're uncomfortable. Their temperature's not good. So hopefully that clears everything up for you guys too. And yeah, hopefully you guys learn from that, man. Because it, it, it's really important to know this stuff when, when it comes to taking care of puppies especially. Because puppies are not supposed to cry. And uh, yeah, hopefully that does help help you guys out. And yeah, just chill my baby girl. What's up, baby? And uh, yeah. That's pretty much it, you guys, and hope you guys like that content and like and subscribe, and yeah, peace out, y'all. Peace.